You're listening to Linux News Log, separating the Linux and open source signal from the noise. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download at audibletrial.com slash quicksurf. Over 85,000 titles to choose from for your iPod or MP3 player. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm your host Adrian, coming to you almost live from lovely Phoenix, Arizona, here in Studio MC1 at Quicksurf Internet Media. Linux News Log is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. Do feel free to head on over to techpodcast.com and check out all the other technology-related shows over there. I'd like to encourage everybody to uh, check out my new daily tech show. It's called Today's Tech News, and uh, you can find it online over at tech.quicksurf.com and uh, go over there and check it out. It's audio only, and um, I've got a bit of an announcement here for uh, Linux News Log um, as well, but I just wanted to encourage everybody, if you want a daily, general daily tech news show that's not long, it just gives you a quick rundown of the tech for the day, um, then go check out today's tech news over at tech.quickshift.com and subscribe to that show. Now, for those of you uh, here, before we get into the news for for this episode, um, here at Linux Newslog, where uh, I'm kind of rebooting the show a little bit. Um, for the past probably year and a half, almost two years now, uh, I've I've uh, I've uh, published uh, an audio MP3. Uh, feed plus an AUG Vorbis feed, and I've also provided the video uh, video uh, of the show in an iPod compatible and in in, in an HD 720p compatible uh, H.264 video files. And uh, it started off largely as as an experiment, but um, I've decided that I'm going to kind of reset the show a little bit and bring it all back to an audio only show. So um, for those of you who are subscribed to the MP3 link, no worries. You don't have to change anything. Same thing for the Og Vorbis link. The current Og Vorbis link is not subscription link is not going to change. If you're you, both of those, uh, you will continue to receive those episodes uh, as they're supposed to. As you're supposed to for the iPod compatible uh, f- feed and the HD feed, um, those I will uh, probably not this week, but but uh, for the next episode I will redirect those to the MP3 subscription link. So uh, for those of you who subscribe to those, right now you're getting an MP3. You're not getting the video version of the show because I'm not recording the video version of the show. Um, so please visit us online, quicksurf.com or linux.quicksurf.com and subscribe to either the MP3 or the Og Vorbis link. And uh, that will ensure that you continue to get the show uh, in, in the audio format. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is... Um, and this has been pointed out to me several times. I'm going to try to make this quick, but uh, the reason why I'm kind of resetting this and going back to just an audio-only show is uh, Linux Newslog started off as an audio-only show. The video was really an experiment to see what kind of traction it would gain, but I really didn't have the the bandwidth or time, or I didn't really have the bandwidth in terms of time to to really make it an outstanding video show. So many of the episodes are literally me being a talking head which some people prefer, but, um, you know, there's no real value add there, you know, and I've been, people have emailed me Linux at quickstuff.com multitudes of times saying, dude, put something in the video besides just your head talking right now. The audio version of the show is a better show. And I agree with them. And so, um, I'm in process of, of, uh, kind of retooling my shows here a little bit. And, um, since I'm, many of you may not know this, but I've been unemployed the last couple of months. I'm, I'm going to be starting a new job here in the next uh, week or so. And, um, in addition to that, uh, my other show, the Geekinator, not the daily one, one, cause that's audio only, but the, the Geekinator show, I'm going to be retooling that to where it's not a news show because I'm covering that in the today's tech news. But, uh, so that's going to be more geeky stuff kind of along the lines of, hack five not copying them but you know just getting into geeky stuff how to do stuff you know looking at uh, d- different technologies and that sort of thing and, and that will continue to be video because that sort of thing is best served by having a video show 
But for here in Linux Newslog, an audio show is is the best use of my time <clears throat> because um, in addition to working full time, I'm now will be working full time plus producing a daily tech show, plus producing Linux Newslog, plus producing the Geekinator, and I'm tooling up to do another weekly uh, show uh, that's going to be streaming online. It, potentially audio only, but I may have some Ustream video stuff going on. It'll be a tech chat type show. Um, and that will be coming online here in the next month or two. Um, right now we're in early, I'm in early planning stages for that, but given all of that, I, you know, I, I said, you know, now's a good time to just kind of make the break. Let's make, you know, Linux news log, a, an audio only show that will allow me to, you know, host, produce, do everything in one evening, um, it'll allow me to very much more consistently do it and it'll free up and, you know, an evening for me to actually, uh, cause right now for the, if I were doing the video, it would take me two days. It'd take me an evening to record and edit the show and start rendering out the file. And that would render out overnight. Cause I don't have particularly fast hardware at this time. And, uh, and considering that I'm doing this in HD, uh, and then I'd have to go to work the next day and then I couldn't really deal with it until the next evening to do all the uploads and all that stuff. So, um, it's better served. I'm better serving you, the audience by making it an audio only show. And so that's what we're doing. This will be the first one, uh, by next Monday, uh, I will redirect all of the feeds that are not MP3 or AUG to the MP3 feed. So if you'll still continue to get the show in MP3 form, but I would really prefer that you go visit us online, update your feeds uh, to the new uh, MP3 feed, and that will ensure that you get each and every episode. So now that I've burned seven whole minutes of time, almost eight minutes of time, let's uh, go ahead and get into the news for this episode. From a Channel Register, Penguin Computing Overclocks Opterons for Wall Street. Linux server specialist Penguin Computing has jumped into the overclocked server fray with a new Alta server aimed at clock-hungry high-frequency stock trading applications. At the HPC on Wall Street conference in New York City this week, the high-performance computing, Linux high-performance computing uh, conference, uh, Penguin Computing is showing off its Altus 1750 server, which is built using adv advanced micro devices, Lisbon Optron 4100 processors, and its homegrown chipsets. The 1U rack mounted server has three things that companies running high frequency trading systems want density, low power consumption, and relatively high clock speeds. Because in that arena, it's all about the clock speed. From Business Wire, Semina announces an IEEE 1588 PTP uh, impairments at 10G wire speed packet generation, 10 gigabit wire speed packet generation uh, at uh, the High Performance Computing Linux 2011 show in New York. Semina, the innovative leader in network monitoring and testing solutions, announced new software releases at the High Performance Computing Linux show 2011. In New York, the new software for the Semena Network Emulator Traffic Generator product line adds two key features, IEEE 1588, also known as Precision Time Protocol Impairments, and 10 gigabit wire speed packet generation and measurements. So pretty awesome stuff. Uh, check it out if you have a use for something of that nature. From Hard OCP, Ubuntu delivers Natty Norwal. Linux Beta 1. This is pretty neat. Uh, basically, Natty Narwhal is the next version of Linux, and uh, the Beta 1 is now available if you want to check it out. From PR Newswire, Indira Data releases version 3.1.5 of its cross-platform file replication, remote online server, and PC backup, remote archive, and data distribution software. Boy, that's a mouthful. Woo. The new release includes support for cross-platform data distribution, remote online backup consolidation, data migration, and content aggregation for Windows, Linux, Mac, Solaris, and other Unix flavors. With uh, Ed Wads 3.1.5, uh, ooh, that's kind of a ooh, uh, replicating and distributing content from any, many sites to one site got simpler and more automated. Uh, expanding many-to-one configurations to include more remote hosts is now faster and more cost-effective. 
These new and improved features make Edwads a true unified data management solution. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, check it out. From PC World and their business center, I love PC World, Linux and ARM power new 10-inch netbooks. Now, I thought netbooks were going the way of the dinosaur. Apparently not. Hardware maker Hercules this week gave Linux fans a nice boost by unveiling two new additions to its eCafe netbook line that use ARM processors and run the open source operating system. The eCafe Slim HD is billed by the company as the slimmest and lightest model in its category, while the eCafe EXHD was designed to offer the best battery life on the market. Both feature an ARM Cortex-A8 processor and a custom Linux-based operating system along with an unusual design in which the screen folds into the body for extra protection. Pretty neat stuff. Uh, it's due in April. The 10-inch netbooks will be offered at a suggested retail price of $229 and $269 respectively. So we'll see how well those sell. From eWeek.com, Linux and open uh Linux, open source, and Ubuntu, OpenSUSE Linux 11.4 draws strength from cloud services and the community. So uh, OpenSUSE 11.4 is a new release in the line of community-oriented Linux-based operating systems from Novell and the OpenSUSE community, marked by a raft of newly updated open source applications and components. As with previous OpenSUSE releases, this distribution can serve in roles ranging from desktop to server. However, where OpenSUSE and its SUSE Linux predecessor once stood tall among its Linux rivals, I'd sooner recommend Ubuntu or one of the Red Hat-based distributions for most client-to-server uses. So, uh, and that was Jason Brooks, the author of this article, saying that, not me. Um, I couldn't agree with him more. I'm a huge Ubuntu fan. From Mobile Magazine, Linux OS Hercules eCafe Netbook does 13 hours per charge. Boy, more netbook stuff. Are netbooks making a resurgence? 13 hours per charge. Uh, the Hercules brand isn't exactly a household name, but it is better known for the line of speakers than real computer equipment. Even so, they've already they're already on to the next generation of computing with two new eCafe netbooks. The EXHD eCafe is the one that boasts a real-world battery life of at least, and I'm using air quotes here, 13 hours. That should be more than enough to keep you Skyping and Twittering all day long. Now, the Slim HD eCafe netbook has a claim to fame with less than a one-inch profile, so pretty skinny stuff. That will do it for this episode of Linux News Log as everything, as Always, everything we've talked about is linked up in the show notes. Please do, if you subscribe to the iPod or the HD video compatible uh, RSS feeds, please update your podcatchers to the either MP3 or Og Vorbis feeds. And um, I will automatically forward those uh, on the next episode. But uh, if you want to ensure that you get it, just go do it now, linux.quicksurf.com or quicksurf.com. Either one of those will work. And with that, I will see all of you next week. See you then. Bye.